Meanwhile, the president barnstorming for Republicans in several battleground states as we close in on the midterm. Kaylee McEnany, spokeswoman for the RNC, joins me now. Debbie Stabenow, the uh, Democratic senator in Michigan, has been in office since 2000. Um, Republicans seem to think they have a chance to, to unseat her. The polls don't indicate that uh, would be the case, but if you listen to the vice president and, and the president, they don't think much of polling. That's right. I mean, the polls in Florida showed that Gwen Graham was going to win the Democratic primary. She obviously did not. So polling is not always accurate. If anyone can unseat Debbie Stabenow, it is John James. He is a rising rock star in our party, a veteran. Michigan is a state that President Trump won. It's not a state that Republicans have won since the 80s. But President Trump did it. So defying history is our task, as the chairwoman uh, of our party says repeatedly. But we can do it this year, and we can do it in Michigan. He's also a West Point graduate, uh, a veteran of a couple of combat tours in, in v I'm sorry, not Vietnam, in, in Iraq, uh, and a businessman. This is a guy who knows something about how to meet a payroll. That's exactly right. He's a stellar candidate. He's the exact type of candidate we want running across the country. So he can do this. And I'm so glad to hear the vice president use the word unconventional because I want to share with you some facts that are unconventional right now. Uh, the fact that in New Jersey, a deeply blue state, you have Bob Menendez, who is now only six points ahead of the Republican. The fact that in Wisconsin, the Republican nominee, Leah Vukmir, is only behind by two points. And the fact that in one of the bluest House districts in the country, in New York. John Katko, the Republican, is up by 15 points.